This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, September 30th. I'm James Spann. Very warm through midweek, but a cold front Friday, and that's going to set up a chance of rain at that point. And then a very cool weekend ahead. Let's go in there and check things out. Got a big trough in the western states, and that's going to propel the changes later this week. Again, we'll be well up in the 80s, but that thing comes in with a cold front Friday and a big cool down for the weekend. Not bad this morning. See some 50s up in North Alabama, Haleyville 57, mostly 60s around here. But we'll see warm afternoons, mid-80s today. We could see upper 80s tomorrow and Thursday as October begins. Watch warning map, some fog issues over parts of the eastern U.S., Parts of East Florida with a flash flood watch, including places like Daytona Beach. Also a few counties under flash flood watches over South Dakota and Wyoming. Temperatures around the nation, pretty chilly underneath that trough out west with 30s and 40s out there. And again, we're going to get the coolest air so far this season here just in time for the weekend. And as the cold front progresses east, we'll see some active storms. A small slight risk later today and tonight for parts of South Dakota and Nebraska. Tomorrow, standard slight risk of severe weather over Kansas, parts of Nebraska, some of the adjacent states. And this is day three. This is Thursday, a large part of Arkansas and Missouri with a risk of severe weather. But beyond that, there is no risk on day four, which is Friday for us. And while a strong storm is certainly possible, severe weather, at least organized severe weather, doesn't look likely. And we'll dive into the details here in just a second. Rain for the next five days, about three quarters of an inch, one half to three quarters of an inch. This is valid through Sunday morning, and the bulk of this will be on Friday. And the tropics remain quiet as a mouse in the Atlantic Basin. Modeling, this is the OZ run, valid today at 1 o'clock Central Time at 500 millibars. There's your trough out west, but for us, sunny and warm. Low to mid-80s today. Humidity will be fairly low. Tomorrow, very warm. How about upper 80s? The... GFS printing 88 tomorrow. The NAM is at 87. Thursday, we stay very warm with mid to upper 80s. However, moisture increases, and we might see during the heat of the day a few scattered afternoon and evening showers. I don't think it'll be widespread, but a few spots could see some rain Thursday afternoon. But this will be our big rain day Friday. Very strong trough. The, the main dynamic support north of the state. But that's clearly sufficient to drive this cold front in through here. And look at the 540 thickness line coming down to Chicago. This could be the first snow of the season for parts of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Upper Michigan. The prime surface low is north of Upper Michigan in Canada. The trailing front down to about Muscle Shoals. This is 1 o'clock Friday afternoon. So a, a pretty decent chance of showers and storms. I would say there is a reasonable chance the rain will end in time for the high school football games. We'll check some of the severe weather parameters. This is the surface base cape, and these numbers are actually uh, on up there. Well, you see the shades of green. Those are capes in excess of 750 joules per kilogram, and you can see a strip of higher instability through parts of Louisiana and Mississippi and southwest Alabama. That's certainly sufficient for some strong storms. The helicity values are marginal. This is the storm relative helicity in the lower kilometer, zero to one kilometer of the atmosphere, and about 50 units there. And the EHI is about 0.25. You typically want to see that at 1 or higher for a significant chance of severe weather. But no doubt, there could be a strong storm. We'll keep an eye on these numbers. But with the surface low so far north and the uh, core dynamics well to the north, I, I don't think severe weather will be a big problem. But strong storms, yes, a possibility. But after that, ooh, Saturday looks good. Cobalt blue sky. Cool breeze. Start the day maybe in the upper 40s, the high only in the low 70s. Some folks up in the Tennessee Valley won't get out of the 60s with sunshine and full supply. Uh, same thing Sunday. A lot of people will probably start the day down in the upper 40s and uh, the high only in the 70s. In fact, let me just show you the temperatures coming off the ensemble. You can see that big drop for the weekend. These numbers might be a tad too cool, but uh, goodness, they've got us down there in the 47, 46 degree range, both Saturday and Sunday morning. And the high Saturday only is 66 for Birmingham. Uh, but it's just going to feel great. If you like cool weather, this will be your weekend. This is what you've been waiting for. Go to Monday of next week. A little secondary front north of the state. I don't think that produces rain here because the air is so dry. And uh, this is Tuesday, a week from today, October the 7th. Just beautiful weather. Sunny, comfortable, very nice. This is a few days later, October 12th, uh, suggesting another really 
chilly shot of air coming down into the eastern states, uh, driving down in through here. 540 line almost down to uh, Pittsburgh, and that just looks cold. A 1037 millibar high in Canada. And this is the end of the forecast, October the 15th, troughing in the west. And down below that, if that's right, the weather would be fairly quiet. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.